Well, here we are, class of 2020. What a year this past month has been. At least now we actually have an excuse for not having our life together after we graduate. I was expecting our senior year to be Steve Irwin quality, and instead it was more like Carol Baskin. I know these circumstances are less than ideal, but that's okay, because we've spent the past four years as students at the College of Idaho. We come from a school that has prepared us for curveballs and gotten us out of our shell. We started our college career grouped together as complete strangers to do team building activities in the McCall Wilderness. My favorite team building activity was when we jumped into the freezing water in the middle of the night together. We come from the PEAK program, so we're used to getting put into situations where we have no idea what we're doing. We have knowledge in multiple areas, so we're set to roll with the punches, especially in situations that require us to step up and learn. I went to an interview for an accounting position with grease on my suit because I had just been digging around Jalopy Jungle looking for an alternator for my physical environmental systems lab. Shout out to Jamie Good. I know things are difficult right now, and I know that's really an understatement, but we come from a place that has not only prepared us to overcome this obstacle, but to grow from it and to lead others out of it. Look at all of the leadership that was being demonstrated before this even started. Our basketball team won the Marist Cup, and let's be realistic, they would have won nationals too. The advocates constantly provide healthy advice and support for all of us. I know on a meltdown scale of one to 10, I'd be around a Britney Spears 2007 without them. Program Council is constantly listening to its students and providing meaningful experiences for us. And let's not forget, we're also leading colleges around the nation by setting an example for innovative, creative, and sustainable living on campus by using shipping containers as dorms. Much like our education, our leadership covers all the bases. I can't wait to see how you all lead outside of a school setting. The highlight of my days has been watching the Facebook Senior Spotlight posts and seeing what you are all doing after this. The education offer at C of I is phenomenal. What I feel has really prepared me for life after undergrad has been the sense of community and opportunity that comes with it. We have managed to not only maintain the connections we have here, but to strengthen them. There's a reason employers ask for College of Idaho students to fill positions, and there's a reason why so many alumni continue to invest their time and effort into our campus. What we have here is special, and I continue to be impressed by the way we push our boundaries into foreign territory to maintain our culture. I look back at my experience the past four years, and I could not imagine being at a school where you don't know everyone. I could not imagine being in a class of more than 30 people or not being able to waltz into my professor's office just to talk. One of my fondest examples and memories of this was my first semester of my freshman year. When I first started here, I really struggled with the transition from high school to college. My efforts as a student were questionable at best. One of the classes I was in was World Civilization with the Mie Kim. That class was my kryptonite. I remember writing an essay that I was pretty confident in, and when I got my feedback back, all I got was a slash through the paper with the word no. Granted, my little freshman brain thought I could sail through this class with some good old BSing. Pretty soon I found myself scrambling to pass this class, a position I had never been in. I set up a meeting with her and we worked out a game plan. On the day of the midterm, I slept through my alarm and woke up 20 minutes into the class. I felt so ashamed and guilty. I was just starting to turn things around with her help and I totally dropped the ball. I sprinted towards Boone with tears running down my face, thinking of how I could possibly make this up to her and contemplating the fact that I was pretty sure I had just failed my first class ever. I got to the classroom, still crying, and she looks at me and goes, well, go, 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 go. I was astounded that she not only let me take the midterm, but she didn't even scold me. She was just concerned and cared that I succeeded. I ended up passing the class, and today I'm graduating cum laude. Had I been at any other school, I don't think this scenario would have played out that way. Our teachers are not only our mentors, but our friends. We are bonded by more than the simple fact that we go to school together. We are bonded by cramming into Arrows Theater for cabaret shows, by getting rowdy as the train goes by at football games, 
by treating bowling night themes as if we're a contestant for America's Next Top Meme, by singing Piano Man at Goose Wednesdays, by tackling Sigma Chi's to the ground during Derby Days, by partaking in 100% legal activities starting at 9 a.m. on the day of Spring Fling, concerts from the music program, I could go on. Not to mention all of the other activities and clubs on campus that help mold us into the community we are. There is never a dull moment because there's always something to do. And if there isn't, we still have each other. We may be far apart physically, but we are in this together and we need each other now more than ever. As Uncle Iroh from Avatar The Last Airbender said, while it is best to believe in oneself, a little help from others can be a great blessing. Don't let the Nickelodeon brands fool you. It is not a kid's show. I am so proud of our presidents, our faculty, and most of all, all of you. I asked our class what their biggest accomplishments were during their time at the college, and these were some of their answers. Passing OCHEM, being president to an amazing sorority on campus, realizing life is better when you're learning something you enjoy, going to New York for Model United Nations, getting recognized for my time in band at the senior day football game, successfully transferring here. My life was much happier at C of I, realizing I'm no longer who I once was. Somewhere along those four years I grew up, we all did. Regardless of what your best moment or biggest accomplishment is, we deserve to be proud. It was a bumpy ride, but we still did it. <laughs> I know it's hard to maintain productivity during a global pandemic, yet alone to graduate from college. I know one day we'll look back on this and be like, holy hell, we did that. Class of 2020, thank you.